So you can put a police at every corner in America, but you can't put a police officer in every heart. So the work that we are doing is hard work. That how do you get, if somebody have a gun, that they will not use the gun. Cities and states should be remembered for the hallmarks of their communities, not by the name of another shooting. But as a faith leader, sometimes preachers get real quiet when it comes to gun violence. I'm a 14 year old that all I have in my heart is hate. All I have in my heart is revenge. So I decided with my friends that we were going to kill them as they killed my brother. But it was members of the faith community and the community in general that intervened in our lives. The, the stigma that comes along with our black and brown babies being murdered is unthought of. Even the hours after when the actual detective called, his words still ring in my head. I will let you know if your son had anything to do with this. They don't care that they're re-traumatizing you over and over again. So my goal and the goal of the rabbis around the country that are part of Rabbis Against Gun Violence and our responsibility here in our beloved city is to stand in solidarity recognizing that hate against one is a threat against all of us. Focus only on tribal trauma means that we leave each other behind and we forget speaking from Jewish tradition, what it is to love your neighbor. And so we're out to make sure that we don't idolize the Second Amendment in violation of the Second Commandment. So what I would just say for the mental health piece, what we have to be careful is that we don't convert this conversation into that when these events happen, uh, it's mental health to blame and that we don't pay attention to firearms. This is a pandemic that has been happening before COVID was ever declared. Right, right. And it is increasing. And it's not just um, the, uh, the 20 to the 29 year olds, it's not just male, it's now females. Yeah. And it's increasing. I'm here to tell you, we can't be silent. We have to preach from the scriptures about gun violence and never stop. We cannot give up because I believe that there are a lot of kids out there like me who if there was the right intervention would have made a different choice. And we have to find a way to reach those kids in the dark areas I just want to encourage you all to um, continue to stay in these spaces, continue to ignite your faith, and um, know that you cannot quit. You cannot become desensitized, that you have to continue to show up at the same time. This is what we need to work on more than anything. Changing the minds, changing people understandings of what gun violence is, what it can do to you, how it destroys families, communities, mm. nations. The, the best thing about that part of my journey was my church it was my church <clears throat> they came through i want to tell you as faith leaders that you are critical to god's work critical to his continuum in creating a plan for mankind you are literally god's boots on the ground